This podcast is brought to you by ICT4D.at and inspired by Farm Radio. Hello, listener. This is Podcast Farms, how to podcast. This is your host, Lydia, with my co-host, Juliana and Noah. It's all about kickstarting your podcast journey from beginning to the end. We'll all be taking turns diving deeper into different aspects of podcasting. Welcome back to another episode of Podcast Farms How to Podcast. I'm Juliana, your host from Austria, and I'm happy to talk about music and audio in today's episode. So let's get started. Picture this, you're watching a horror movie, but there is no music. I can guarantee you it's not gonna be good. Same with every other movie, music is very important to convey emotion or draw attention to the scene. Or you're watching TV or listening to the radio and suddenly an ad comes on and you know exactly what product they are advertising because you know the music. Did that ever happen to you? To me, a lot of times. So to make your podcast recognizable and set the right mood, you will definitely need some music. But where to put the music? How to use the music? So the most basic stuff you can do with music on your beginner podcast is to have an intro jingle, transition music and also ending credits music. But first of all, you should think about what music fits your podcast theme. What message you want to convey? You want to be more serious? Have serious music, like a news channel. Or your podcast is about murder mysteries? Then use music that is mysterious and increases the tension. For our podcast, we wanted to have fun, happy music, which isn't too comedic since we're having fun, but also want to be informative. So the music should always fit the purpose of your podcast. The most important thing music-wise is the intro. This is the first thing your audience listens to. So if the intro music isn't fitting or annoying, you might lose the audience or people aren't gonna start listening to your podcast in the first place. Having the same jingle for every episode of your podcast makes it more recognizable. Next is the transition music. To cut your podcast into segments and have a nice transition between them so your audience recognizes that the next segment is about to begin, you'll need transition music. This could be a shorter form of your jingle or something smooth, relaxed. Really depends on your topic or theme. Important is that it's not too long. Try to experiment a little bit with the length, what fits best. It's going to be like 3 to 10 seconds max, I think. The ending credits could contain information like sponsors or supporters of your podcast or what the next episode might be about. So the music shouldn't confuse or be too loud. But I think it's nice to have a little music at the end of every episode to soothe the listeners or transition out of the episode. But it also doesn't need to be very long, because if the listener is listening to more than one episode of your podcast successively, a too long credit music would be annoying and really unnecessary. Something you can also think about is adding background music. So, next question is where to find music? There are a lot of options to get music, but the most important thing is, do you have the right to use it? And since that is a bit tricky, you should search for royalty-free music or Creative Commons music with the right license. To get the right license, you often have to pay a fee or buy the music, but there are also totally free options on the internet. You just have to Google it and find the best option for yourself. There are sites like Epidemic Sound, Premium Beat, Free Archive Music, Pixabay. So there is a lot. I won't recommend one of these, just it really depends on which music you want to use or want to find. 
Just remember, the most important thing is to get the license so you can legally use the music in your podcast without worrying about copyright issues. Of course, another really, really nice thing could be to team up with local musicians. So if you have friends, family or like in your hometown people who do music, you could ask them if they want to collaborate with you and make a unique jingle or unique composition for your podcast. So then you don't have any copyright issues if they are doing that for you. And since it's uniquely produced for you, it's gonna fit your podcast perfectly. Just remember to give proper credit to the artists and the musicians whose music you are using. So the next part is gonna be a little bit talking about audio. In the technical episode, you already learned a little bit about the technical aspects of the podcast. So for this episode, I'm just going to remind you, the most important part for the podcast is your microphone. So really check that if you have a good microphone, but there are also really cheap options you can work with at the beginning. Second of all, of course, the recording software is important. I'm using right now Audacity. That's a free software, so you can use it for free. And since I'm also a beginner, I will see if I can work with it, how to work with it. So, but it really works quite good right now. A tip from the internet is to use headphones while editing and recording your audio. I don't do that in the moment, but I think my loudspeakers are quite good. So that's gonna work, but headphones are for sure better. The most important thing recording-wise is to tame background noise. So if you're listening to my background, I'm gonna shut up now. It's quiet. I didn't do anything. My room is quite good. I just closed my door and my window. But there are also filters and effects and also AI you can use on the internet to like delete background noise. Also, what works quite good is to put your microphone into your wardrobe. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but it does work. And if you have like foam panels or blankets, you can use that too. It minimizes echo and it just feels really professional. Now comes a part where I'm really no expert. <laughs> so if any one of you is an expert, good for you, <laughs> because I'm gonna unlock the secrets of mastering. In movie production, there is like a joke where people on set say, ah, if it doesn't work, just fix it in post. I don't know if that joke is also something in the podcast community. I hope not, because almost every time you can't really fix it in post, or it's not really it's not really good to fix it in post. You should really fix it before you go into post-production. Like, post is short for post-production. Sorry. So if your microphone is shit, if your recording software is shit, if you have a lot of background noise, if your music is too loud or not really fitting... Post-production can't fix it. Mastering can't fix it. You will have a really, really hard time to fix that. But there are some basic techniques that also beginners can use and which are easy, understandable. So first of all, there is compression. Compression helps even out volume levels, ensuring that no part of our podcast is too loud or too soft. And it really brings consistency to your audio which is good and sounds pleasant for listeners because sometimes your voice is gonna be louder like if you laugh for example and sometimes it's gonna be softer and just to even that out you need compression. Another tool is equalization. Uh, Think of equalization as a magical tool that balances the different frequencies in your audio. Adjusting bass, Uh, treble and mid-range frequencies can make your podcast sound cleaner and more professional.
So that's it for today's episode. I really hope I give you a few ideas uh, how to use music and where to find music for your podcast. As always, have fun with it and do your research and get the right license. That's the most important things to do. Invest your money in a good microphone and try to tame your background noises. And check the internet for tips on how to master your episodes, how to master your audio material, so you don't have any issues with the loudness, for example. Just take your time, don't be afraid to experiment and learn from your mistakes. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and see you all next time. Thanks for tuning in to Podcast Farms How to Podcast. Before we wrap up today's episode, I wanted to remind you about some valuable resources and ways to stay engaged. First off, if you found today's conversation inspiring and want to dig deeper, be sure to check out our detailed show notes. And if you're eager to explore the articles, books, websites we discussed, don't worry, we've got you covered. Head over to ict4d.at under podcast form to access a curated list of all the resources we mentioned today and lastly if you know someone who would benefit from the knowledge shared on this episode don't hesitate to share with them your recommendation can make a positive impact on their learning journey before i go here's a sneak peek from our next episode where my co-host juliana discusses project management and how to conduct an interview first key word is time management and believe me i don't like that (laughs) but time management is key to producing a successful podcast without feeling overwhelmed all the time you have to create a content calendar and schedule regular recording sessions well everyone that's a wrap for today remember the learning doesn't stop here Dive into those show notes, explore the resources, and join us on our next episode.